will be looking for the likes of Tavite Veradamu, who has been in sensational scoring form of late. Tries in six of his last seven matches. As for uh, Toulouse, well, big day, as we said, for Piala Fasuele. Not only is it his first time going back to the place that he made himself a hero at, he, he also does it as the captain for Toulouse. Nine of the players in the 23 are under 23 years old, with uh, most of the talk around Emmanuel Meafu, who is away with the French national sign and is due to make his French debut finally tomorrow, the huge forward against Wales. Well, Juan Cruz Malia got off to a, a slightly iffy start to, to fly half a few games ago, uh, but he's playing himself in nicely here with Roman Entomac on the way back. It's not too long now in the future that we think that the man who won the uh, top catalls, Brennus, the latest one for them with that try right at the end of the final back in June, he's almost back from that horrible uh, injury that cost him his place in the Rugby World Cup. Malia, though, has been in great form. And it is, he's a sort of schoolmaster, if you like, with a classroom full of youngsters from the academy who will be turning out tonight. Well, when Perpignan travelled to the Stade Mayol to take on Toulon last week, they committed too many defensive lapses to have any real hope of achieving a positive result. Went down 44-22. That came after Toulouse earlier on Saturday. Had swept aside Derby rivals Cass 33-6. The reigning French champions, now the best at home in all competitions in Europe. Before the start of this match day, Toulouse were runners up to Stade Francais on the same number of points. Perpignan has slept into the drop zone for the first time since early December. But after Stade Francais' loss today to La Rochelle, to lose at the chance now to go top for the first time this season. Hard to believe, really, isn't it, when you consider their recent form. Well, from the inaugural derby to the bottom of the table clash and the closing match, this is the end of a weekend in which the scoreboards have been particularly busy. As we said, there's very few points now between all those underneath to lose in the first leg despite putting up a good fight in a match which posted almost 80 points on the boards. Perpignan finally succumbed to Toulouse at the Stade Ernst well on, 43 points to 34. Perpignan, though, have a decent record against Toulouse. They've won 10 of their last 12 home games against them, an 83% success rate. Well, amongst teams that they've hosted at least 10 times in the top flight, they only have a higher win rate against Bayonne, whom they've been every single time, and Breve 90% of the time. So then the two sides then get together, and there is the former Perpignan man, the Samoan international, Piola Fasuele, who has moved to number five today to replace uh, Emmanuel Meafu, who's due to start against France tomorrow. He will be guiding the likes of Joshua Brennan, who's only 22. In the front row, all young, all under 24. Marco Trout, Guillaume Cramont, who's probably the most experienced of the three. And Joel Meckler, the Spaniard, who's only 22. Fasuele is 36 years old now. And that will be needed because number six, the blindside flanker is Leo Banos. He's only 21. Jack Willis brings a bit of international pedigree on the other side of the uh, scrum at 27. But Matias Castro Ferreira is the youngest in the side at only 20. He plays at number eight. And has scored six tries since coming back from an ankle injury, all of which have come since he made his return after that six-week dropout. So the Perpignan players are getting ready to in the tunnel. The Toulouse players are about to join them. You are getting ready for USAP Perpignan up against Stade Toulouse here in Top 14 Rugby.
Here they come then, into the furnace that is the Stade Aimé Giral. Perpignan on the right-hand side of your screen, looking to get back out of the top two, or the bottom two. And a Toulouse side already in the top two, looking to go top tonight and take advantage of Stade Francais' mishap earlier in the day. Piolo Fatsuele played 70 times for Perpignan, 67 of which he started. Now, though, he is trying to plot their downfall with Toulouse in his first season since skipping across. Franck Azema has won the Top 14 title twice, once with Perpignan in 2009 and once with Clermont in 2017. Hugo Moller, two wins as well in 2019 and 2021. Pierre Baptiste Nucci is supported by Jeremy Rosier and Nicolas Boudot. And Posuolo Tuolaghi on the, for his uh, French debut in recent days. The 19 year old, though, watches on this evening. A man who has come through the Perpignan Academy. Off we go then, and Tommaso Allen taking a sabbatical from the Italian setup. I wonder how he'll feel about the Italians having beaten Scotland sensationally earlier in the day. And of course, England having beaten Ireland, making them wait to win the title and indeed denying them the Grand Slam. Will Perpignan be able to deny to lose going top of the table this evening? Their home form against them and indeed lately would suggest that they have half a chance. So then the first test for uh, Salela Lam, the Samoan international hooker, 35 years old. It's uh, safe, although that's a bit of an awkward grab for Tom Ekershaw, the scrum half. Away though comes Afrosipa Tomovapo, 34-year-old Tongan international centre. Ekershaw grabs the ball once more and feeds it out into the path of uh, Lam. When you look at the way that Perpignan started off the season, it was nothing short of catastrophic. Rock bottom of the table for the first six weeks, in the bottom two for the first nine. But since then, they have started to come out. Took them another couple of uh, match days to get out of the bottom two. But uh, in round 12, when they won their third win in a row, beating Oyanat, they finally started to climb up the table. They got as high as 11th, however, three defeats away from home have seen them drop back down into the bottom two, and that's exactly where they finished the last couple of seasons since they were promoted in 2021. So they would rather not play the likes of Grenoble or uh, mont le -Masson. They want to keep their heartbeats just under control a bit, but... Uh, a first chance here from the penalty tee for Juan Cruz Malia, who has been absolutely sensational. Given the job of being the fly half, took him a little while to get used to it, but now he's in great form. And a chance here with two and a half minutes gone to score the first points from the halfway line, and he's scooped that just a little bit wide, much to the delight of the home crowd. I want them to Laurent Cruz Malia, seven matches at the Rugby World Cup, including the quarter final against Wales and the semi final against uh, Sam Whitelock's New Zealand. And indeed the playoff against Henry Arundel's England as well, but uh, he's no longer a uh, England international. The Racing man. Racing in action tomorrow night against Toulon. They will close out round 18. A little bit of a mess there. Paul Costes, one of the youngsters in for uh, Barassi tonight at outside centre. Only 20 years old. One of the uh, under-20 world champions in the summer last year with his teammate, Matis Castro Ferreira, who's playing at number eight this evening. 
Well, the one thing about bringing youngsters in is that they do like to play. Kevin Gorges, who's in for player Kingholm, who uh, was on playing for Scotland earlier in the day. Up against Ange Capuzzo. And uh, it was the Italian who came away from that game, but smiling the wider. Italy holding on finally, having almost beaten France in the last game. Finally managed to beat Scotland, who they do target in uh, Six Nations matches. Although even this Scotland side looks a little bit too far away from them. Scotland was still wondering whether or not there might be a possibility of challenging Ireland for the title. England did their job against the Irish, but Scotland lost against the Italians. That's gone behind Tommaso Allen. 30-year-old is on a sabbatical from the Italian side at the moment, having played a couple of games in this Six Nations tournament. He's in good, good flutter as well, four tries in uh, top cators, including a try in Usap's last three matches against Stade Francais, La Rochelle and Toulon. It's a bit of a messy opening to this game. Which I think will suit to Perpignan more than it will Toulouse. Monsieur Nushi just making sure that the Toulouse players stay on side. They're keeping a very high line. Ekrachar decides to go to the air. And Perpignan managed to follow it up. And it comes from Otumapu. And the little kick into space. Oh, he's just taken a little kick the wrong way there. Oh, and Malia's kick has been charged down. Costes. Costes has got away, though. Tried the kick. Charged down, though. Good play by Veradamu in defence. The man who has been spectacular in attack in recent matches. Forward again comes Gorgas. Just 18 years old. It's only his third appearance of his first pro season. And Toulouse have got down to the 22 again. Great burst by Costes. This is his seventh start. One try in the reverse fixture against Perpignan back in mid-November. On Remembrance Day on the 11th of November. Lamb, again solid into Van Tonda. Oviedo, the Argentine, he's only 22 himself, but it's a more experienced look to the uh, Perpignan lineup than there is to the Toulouse one. Echo 31 years old himself, at the back of the little caterpillar off the back of the ruck. That's going to bounce. Picked up by uh, Setariki uh, Buntaniyata, the Fijian wing. Another man who scored in that uh, victory over Perpignan earlier in the season. Grau, he's been in sensational form of late. Four tries very recently. <laughs> Up against uh, the bottom side, uh, Oyana Butinayata is uh, taking a clattering. First season since arriving from Breve, of course, who were relegated at the end of last season. One try from him against Bayon in February, after two months out, after the end of August, after getting an ankle injury against Montpellier, and uh, didn't come out too well from that one. Could see the arrival of Luca Toza early. Well, there is the. Uh, List of injured, Bubia, Lolelo, De Prat, Enu, front row, Geelong is a big miss, Entomac, Placine, three big men in the uh, midfield. Gutun and Delibes as well. Doesn't include the ones who are away, of course, with uh, their national sides and not just with France. Well, it looks like they're going to try and uh, help Putinata stay on by... Wrapping up his ankle so he can't move anymore.
Well, I wonder how long that will last. Six two split in terms of uh, the subs from both um, coaches. The only non forwards, Batty Germain, the scrum half, and Luca Toza, who you saw on the sidelines there, almost coming on. The winger for Perpignan. Now you have a scrum half, Sadek Demach, and the Ass Pesai Nakalevu, the centre. Perpignan back in uh, possession again, Jake McIntyre. Blonde haired fly half that spreads it out. Akoshar has been played on the ground, I think, by Jack Willis. There's an advantage here for Perpignan. Allen, nice. And here comes Veradamu. The referee has blown, though. There was a lock on. Tavita Veradamu, 34 years old now and hitting uh, the form of his life. Seven tries and a try in six of his last seven matches. After scoring his first in the round five win against Toulon. And he scored three tries in the whole of last season in top Catals, so he's well ahead of schedule at the moment. Just one try before that. Both of those seasons were for Lyon. You can see there. Veradamu just standing on the uh, sideline, which is why they brought play back for the penalty. Butsudiata has not been able to continue, so Toza has come on. There he is. 25-year-old winger with three tries this season in his nine appearances so far. Toulouse didn't go into the top two of the uh, table since early February. Until early February. They started off the season losing against Bayonne. They were in the bottom two. It's a position that Bayonne that uh, Perpignan have got more used to as the season has gone on. It's another penalty, is it? It is. Perpignan here on the run. Handed out to Dungivalu. Ekoshar back out to Veladamu again. The Fijian making ground, trying to barge his way through. McIntyre. Another penalty advantage to Perpignan. Plenty of pressure coming from the home side as Tommy Apul tries to burst through. Ekoshar, Veradamu again. Run straight into Arthur Retier in for Matisse Labelle on the left wing tonight. McIntyre, Van Tonda. South African back row forward stopped in his tracks. Sobella. McIntyre once more, a little short pass, but it was well seen, and Afosipa Tomepo was going nowhere in a hurry there. Good defense from the men in black and red. And the referee has decided it's so good, there is no advantage. He's going to come back for the former pal. And uh, Jack was Van Tonda. He's getting some treatment to his ribs. First season at Perpignan for uh, the uh, back row forward after seven years with uh, Clermont Auvergne. And he's back on his feet again, and the crowd like that. Osuelo Tuilagi watching on. The man whom Frank Azela says he would like to build this Perpignan side around. At just 19 years old, he is a phenomenon. In the same way, perhaps you would say that uh, Emmanuel Merfu is for Toulouse. Man who decided to not represent Australia at the last World Cup. Holding out for international rugby with his adopted nation, France. And a first chance here for Tommaso Allen to kick for the post.
So this for the first points. And uh, there they are. So then, 3-0 to Perpignan. After Toulouse missed their first effort. Well, they're starting to get the message now, our Perpignan and uh, Franck Azema, who came in from Toulon at the end of last season. They are uh, objected to stay up without a playoff. Catalans have had to go through a playoff to secure their place in the last two years. Hope to avoid another successful end to the season. Counting on Azema's return home to help them take things on to perhaps the next level, which at this stage would be a mid-table finish, but... Uh, they can only dream of getting back into the playoffs. Allen kicks for touch and uh, moves Perpignan up to what looks like the 10-metre line. Still inside their own half, though. Oviedo dragging three Toulouse players with him. And uh, then Toulouse players offside. Josh Brennan, the man pinged by the referee. The 22-year-old lock forward is playing for Richie Arnold today. Richie Arnold absence is the reason why Fasuele is the captain again. He's been alternating with his fellow second row forward since uh, Antoine Dupont went off to the France Sevens rather successfully as well. France Sevens uh, into the season finale, having won in uh, Los Angeles, having finished third in Vancouver. Suddenly France Sevens has never had so much uh, media attention since the France 15s captain and World Player of the Year went off to join them. Of course, they're all hoping to get into the Olympic Games on home soil in the summer. Antoine Dupont uh, due to come back to uh, Toulouse, not uh, involved tonight. He won't go back to the Sevens until May for the season finale in Madrid. Paul Grau, who's been his uh, substitute at... Uh, Scrum half and has done a very good job of it too. That's very long to uh, McIntyre. Decides not to call the mark and uh, slaps it back where it came from. The Australian fly half. <laughs> Former Claremont Western Force man in his second season with uh, Perpignan. For whom this is his 17th appearance and 15th start. A couple of tries uh, to go with those figures. Van Tonda trying to get there, but it's a well dragged down by Leo Banos. Again, though, spoiling the play there for uh, Toulouse, and it's a bit of a bum fight on the floor. There's a knock on in the middle of it. It's going to be a scrum to Perpignan, and the uh, host doing a great job there of spoiling Toulouse possession. Arthur Rettier trying to bring it away. Out by Graou into the path of Paul Costes and uh, McIntyre getting involved and breaking up the play. And in the end, Juan Cruz Malia couldn't feed the ball back safely. Toulouse with a slightly heavier front row and much younger front row than uh, Perpignan's. Overall, they're slightly heavier as well for the eight players in the uh, scrum, but uh, there's not much in it. Fasuele with a little wink at some of the players he would have been lining up with last season and the season before that as they escape the drop through the playoffs. Now finds himself staring at them rather than with them. Flexion. Push by Toulouse. Big push by Toulouse and a penalty right in the middle of the pitch for the defending champions. They might not look like the defending champions with the lineup today. But there is a smattering of men there who were involved last season. Guillaume Cramont and Jack Willis. Juan Cruz Malia. Retier, Aki. 
That's about it in the uh, starting lineup. Kieran Cramwell, who spent so long in the uh, shadow of uh, Piatu Movaka and uh, Julian Marchand. Indisputably the best hookers in France for a few years. Julien Marchand looks set to uh, reclaim his place in the starting line up tomorrow for Les Bleus against Wales. And Juan Cruz Malia is lining up a first chance here to undo the damage he did when he missed the first pot shot at goal. It's gone wide again. No, it's gone through. Slightly misleading from that angle, and he finally gets himself on the board. It's three points apiece. That'll make him feel a little bit better about himself. The uh, Toulouse think tank, forwards and back coaches. So Virgil Lecombe there and uh, Laurent Thury. Both in charge of the forwards and defence, respectively. No, lâchez cinq. Lâchez, lâchez. Jouez la neuf. Grau told to get on with it. Decent kick. Uh, McIntyre's going to take it. Is he going to take it quickly? No, the chase is good. And the Perpignan fly half decides to wait for his hooker. Perpignan's home form has improved as the season has gone on. <laughs> 27 points at home now. In their nine home games to date. That pales into insignificance, though, to the 42 that have been posted at home by Toulouse. Perpignan away from home, just four points. Haven't picked up a point at all since uh, their third away game when they posted their first points away. No bonus points away from home either. They need to undo that damage if they are to really push away from the uh, bottom of the table where their home form is beginning to take care of itself. Five wins in a row, six wins in a row now at home for uh, Perpignan, albeit that uh, Toulouse have uh, managed to win all of their games at home. Just a little bit uh, indecisive, but fortunately they got the penalty, which Allen dispatches and gets them into the 22. Jack Willis no longer an international, so missing out on the kind of days that England enjoyed earlier this afternoon with that victory over Ireland. Ireland who had looked absolutely indestructible through the Six Nations. England, though, in a ding-dong battle with them, beating them 23 points to 22 at Twickenham. Jack Willis, though, will have watched that probably maybe on TV. Now he's out on the pitch for Toulouse here tonight and trying to stop uh, Perpignan setting up the driving mall. Unsuccessfully at the moment, though. Ekrashar wants a couple of other players to come in. In comes uh, Luca Dubois, the fullback playing in the left wing tonight. Out comes Lamb. Ekoshar, Ekoshar, this is great driving from the scrum half and they can't stop him. Joined by his mates now, but up to the five metre line, Sopela tries to go inside. They're in the red zone. First real chance here for Perpignan to score a five pointer. Ekoshar spreads it out wide. McIntyre. Cramon closes the gap in front of him. Ekoshar is dragged into the ruck. Van Tonda runs straight there. 
into Brennan. And a penalty. <laughs> Piola Fafsuele, the former Perpignan man, is the man that has been pinged for not rolling away from the tackle. So then this would be an easy three points. Perpignan, though, sense a little bit of blood. No tries in the game as yet. Three points apiece. Nemo Rolovsi and Soleila Lam set off towards the try line. The hooker back to Ekushar. Forward comes Joachim Noviedo. The Argentine international tries to recycle. Ekushar waiting for it. And the referee thinks that it may be a card here. Ekushar certainly thinks so. Hand goes in the pocket. Voluntary offside, deliberate offside. And Matis Castro Ferreira, the 20 year old back row forward, heads off for a 10 minute sit down. Well, I don't like it when you see uh, players and especially managers doing the sort of thing you only see in football, to be honest with you, offering the uh, opinion on a, a card for a, an opposition player. Nevertheless, that was a fairly slam dunk decision there for Monsieur Nushi to make on 23 and a half minutes. So then, a real opportunity now for Perpignan. Not going for the three points has paid off because now they have until the 33rd minute to play with a man advantage. And they'll be trying to exercise that first off here in the scrum. And of course they're missing their specialist number eight. Well, that scrum didn't go very far. Yes, more stability called for by Monsieur Nushi. Yeah, so telling the uh, Perpignan front rows not to come forward too early and uh, telling the Toulouse front rows not to back away. Which is why that, well, that's why he says that uh, scrum collapsed the way it did. Ekoshar and McIntyre then with a little bit of a, a discussion. Can't imagine that this is going to be because of a, uh, a drop goal opportunity. They will surely be going for more than that here. Interesting shot you don't normally see, looking down from the sky on the pitch below. Not sure what we learned from it really, but uh, anyway, Ekashar feeds. Big push by uh, Perpignan, Perpignan coming forward, they've got the advantage. Kicked away and the referee will blow and gives the penalty try. Well, the perfect situation for Perpignan, they don't even have to take the conversion. And the first try goes to a side, a Perpignan side who are very much on the up at the moment, particularly at home. Taking full advantage of Matis Castro Ferreira, the number eight for Toulouse, having just gone to the sin bin and blowing their way through. The referee unforgiving to the Toulouse plight. And Perpignan, you're absolutely delighted with that. Perry Freshwater there, unmoved by what he's seen. But uh, one of the two forwards coaches for uh, Perpignan with Guillaume Villacheca will be very happy. And they've still got quite a lot of time to go here with the uh, penalty or the sin bin advantage as well. So 10 points to three. And to lose at the moment, not getting any of the decisions going their way.
A few little taps of encouragement for the young fullback Alvin uh, Gorg. But unfortunately, his mistake means another scrum to Perpignan. Perpignan enjoying the territory already, but even more so in the last 10 minutes, of course, affected by that yellow card. Now, though, a penalty going to Toulouse. Well, that undoes the advantage somewhat. Well, that classic case of uh, moving out and then pushing back at an angle into the scrum. More often than not, it's the loose head prop that gets pinged for those. That time, though, Nemo Rolofse, the South African tight head prop, coming under the microscope of Monsieur Nushi. Doing it right in front of the referee as well. Nemo Rolofse, who came in from Stade Francais this season to join Perpignan and has uh, played or started in 10 of his 16 appearances for them. A couple of tries for him as well. Toulouse, though, trying to get a try shorthanded. Up to the five-metre line, Paul Graoud hunting underneath of Mechler for the ball. Brennan, caught by Oviedo. Graoud again, Mechler, Spanish tight head prop takes them up to the five meter line Jack Willis former England international that looked like a high arm round the head there by Matthew Tongi referee was uh, circling around the other way though Josh Brennan up to the five meter line again they're side stepping their way across the field at the moment Costes back inside Costes going for the line and held up and pushed back nearly half an hour gone Cramel Brought down by Oviedo. This is a good rear guard action here from the 14 men of Toulouse. Who will be down to 14 men for another three and a half minutes. Brennan runs into Sabello, who's hanging on to him like an anchor. Brennan recycles. Grau again. And it comes. Jack Willis looking for the line. He's lost the ball. Where's it gone? On the line. Referee says there's an advantage to Toulouse. It's been dropped, knocked on. And he's going to go back to the infringement that happened in the mall. It's a big hit by Dungivalu. Try saving challenge as well from him. And the England international denied his chance to get what would have been a second try in top catalls. His first actually came against Bayonne before he had a month out with an adductor injury. Ironic because when he scored against Chile in the Rugby World Cup for England, he got a neck injury after that. Maybe he shouldn't score tries. Out by Malia again. Well, a statement of intent here. The 40 men of Toulouse decided to go for these the try rather than the safe three points. Not sure whether that expression from Hugo Mola meant that he didn't agree with the decision. Taken by Fasuele. Tonight, skipper, captaining the side for the second time. Big push by Perpignan. This is fantastic. Defensive work from the men in sky blue. However, Guillaume Cramel peels off the back of the ruck. Up to the five metre line again, more good defence. Retier can't escape Oviedo. Merkler, Merkler pushing all the way. Half a metre out, Costes drops it forward. And it's another penalty to Toulouse for not being 10 metres back. Ah, 
Georgia, Cyril. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ouais, ouais, ouais. On va checker. So they're going to go to the TMO. And it's going to result in a yellow card for Perpignan. Tu veux le vérifier? On va le vérifier. On va le vérifier. So then, we're going to have a look at the video. With only a minute left of Matis Castro Ferreira's yellow card, it could be Patrick Sorbella who is in trouble. So there he is, peeling across. Merkler goes through. Sorbella following on. Well, I can't see anything about Sabella being in that, to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure why we picked him out. Ooh. Well. Well, Tavita Veradamu could be in trouble here for upending Paul Costes. Il remet les deux pieds et ensuite le 14 qui par un second geste le retourne et le joueur tombe dans une position dangereuse sur le côté donc pour moi c'est bien le card. Vous êtes d'accord Moi ça me convient. Le réalisateur on a une décision. Et que puis worse. C'est pas c'est pas le fait que le joueur saute qui a Le joueur il redescend, vous faites un deuxième geste, vous le jouez, vous le, vous le retournez, il, re, il, re, il retourne dans une position dans So yellow card. Well play safety so important. And he said that there was a second movement that uh, tipped him up. And so for the tip tapple, he's off for 10 minutes and now it's 14 apiece for the next minute and then Toulouse will have the advantage. On y va. Well, that is a really unnecessary mistake. All beard on the try line, trying to stop Paul Costes getting in for the five-pointer. So then, a little bit more space here for Toulouse to run at. Now it's 14 apiece. Jack Willis playing scrum half. Cramor comes in behind and pushes his English forward partner forward. Cramor. Up to the line, but not over it yet. Monsieur Nushi making sure. Jack Willis looking for it. Back by Brennan and in. And Toulouse have their first try of the match. And their 22 year old Josh Brennan playing for Richie Arnold today in the second row comes up with his second try in as many weeks. Having scored in last week's win over Castres, which was his maiden professional try, he's now got two. Saw a little bit of a gap behind the rack and emptied all of his six foot six inch frame into it. And the 17 stone going over. That's quieted the crowd up. So suddenly, we're all level. It's 10 points apiece. And to make matters worse, Matis Ferreira is back on again. Ten points all, heading towards half time. And to lose now with the man advantage. Tetrashvili has uh, gone off and has been replaced by Sasha Lotrian, who's back from a three week ban for dangerous ruck play against Ratzing in early February. Competitive first half. Sabella hit hard there by Merkler. That's been lost by Sabella forward. Well, you can see the uh, the bump on the head. 
for the big Georgian left loose head tackle. Sabella trying the offload, but uh, not controlling it. However, it's not been given as a uh, forward pass. Line out instead. Smoothly done by Toulouse. And forward comes Tuza. Don't forget he uh, came on for Buntaniata, who had to go off earlier in the half. Costes, nice little sidestep. Takes him past Rolovsi. Merkler, Malia. Peter Aki, haven't seen him too much in the game so far. But when he is in the game, you'll know it. That's a very good kick tomorrow, so Allen decides to leave it. And it means that it'll be a line out to Perpignan. Paul Costa is uh, 20 years old. Had a couple of months out in uh, December with a knee injury that he picked up in training. This is only his third game back from that injury layoff. Salela Lam, nicely down and uh, picked up. Toza. Malia, a little bit short. Retia did well to get that away before Oviedo arrived. Tozan loses his footing. Paul Grau, Brennan runs into the back of uh, Bosuele. Jula Fosuele, but uh, the referee didn't see that as crossing. Peter Aki, well tackled. Willis, brought down though by. Perpignan player, Retier, little kick forward, should be easy for Tommaso Allen. Good hands from the Italian and gets rid of it, but uh, not very far. And it'll be a line out too to lose in dangerous position. Still four minutes left of Tevita Veradamu's Sinbin to go. Up and down first half for both sides. Crammel goes to the back this time and it's been uh, missed, but well tidied up by Josh Brennan. Away comes uh, Castro Ferreira. He's hit hard, but Grau has a little kick back across field into space and. Just got an unclined bounce in the end. Tomalo Allen will uh, touch it down with Luca Tuza. Trying to put him off. Shank that as uh, Allen, and beautifully caught by uh, Banos. 21-year-old Bratlow forward, out by Grau. Toulouse on the edge of the 22. Josh Brennan, their try scorer so far, driving those legs and getting inside into the red zone. Malia, Toza feeds it back out again to Leo Banos. The young back row forward cuts back in field. Jack Willis. Brought down by Marvin Ori, who has come on, the South African World Cup winner. Forward by Marco Trout, 23-year-old. Only his fourth appearance for Toulouse. 
18 months since his first three, which came last season. Offside. They take it quickly. Malia out wide, too high for Arthur Retier to be able to reel back in with his uh, 1 meter 73 frame, 5 feet 8 in old money. Just a little bit too high. So half time has gone and it's Perpignan 10 to lose 10. Yeah, we're having trouble at the moment, uh, Miles from the game in the rucks. We're running it on, but it's been about 10 minutes now that we've been having problems. Paul Graou, Paul, Paul Graou uh, for Toulouse, looking slightly happier. Looks like you've, uh, you've overcome and come through the, uh, the Catalan fury. We knew that they would have a lot of energy, particularly through their crowd. But we'll have to try and do something about that in the second half. And, uh, but at least we've managed to pull the score back by half time. Well, there is Mathieu Acebes, long-time Perpignan captain, who announced this week that he'll be leaving the club at the end of the season. There was a distinct absence, though, of him saying he was going to retire. Off we go, then. Ten points apiece. It's perfectly poised here at the Stade M.E. Giral between Perpignan in the bottom two and Toulouse in the top two. So the exit performed uh, well enough, although Tommaso Allen thought that he got slightly more than uh, what the uh, touch judge has given him in terms of that kick forward. Tetransvili looks like he's gone definitively off with Sasha Lothrian. Looks like he's going to stay on then, the 23-year-old loosehead prop. Josh Brennan takes his first line-out catch of the second half and tries to get the driving mall going. Keon Cramwell has the ball. I think Paul Grau wants it. No, he's called Fasuele to come round and uh, give a little more support. Now he breaks away. Peter Aki. Malia into Costes. Malia again, nice movement here. Retier had to catch that slightly behind him, but off he goes now. Little roadrunner legs going like the clappers. Aki, good hands, feeds it into Gorg. The young 18-year-old fullback, Jack Willis, driving forward, bringing Joachim Oviedo with him. Brennan, Brennan pushing still. Finally brought down by a good tackle. From Dungivalu. And a penalty, though, for not rolling away. Grell wants to take it quickly, but the referee stops him in his tracks. So then the debate, what are we going to do? Are they going to take the three points or are they going to go for the corner or are they going to go for the tap and go? And it looks like they're going to do the latter. Guillaume Cramel. Marco Trout with him. Jack Willis stops half a metre away. Josh Brennan looking for his second try. Of the game, goes over the top. They say they've got it. Jack Willis celebrates, and it looks as though it's Matis Castro Ferreira, the man who was sent off in the first half, who has got the try at the beginning of the second. Well, that's a nice comeback from the young back row forward, who got a little bit carried away in the first half, spending 10 minutes in the sin bin. Lovely move, this. Little bit of smoke and mirrors, misdirection. You can see the number eight. He'll peel back round in a moment. Picks up the ball and there's enough of a gap there for him to be able to get that ball on the line. 
That's a great move by the champions. And they take the lead at the beginning of the second half. So the extra points from Malia. Can he accentuate the damage? Here he comes. It's looking good. It's looking straight. It's got the legs. And it is Perpignan 10. To lose 17. That missed kick in the first half, seemingly put behind him. Jack Willis almost through. Wonderful combination of power and guile from Toulouse. And a very popular try scorer in uh, Matty's Castro Ferreira. So then to Vita Veradamo is back from his sin binning. Too late though to stop that try. <laughs> Salela Lam, too long. Perpignan managed to get it, but Cramon kicks it forward. Tracking back to get it is Alvaretti Dungavalu. Echo Sharp. Almost a basketball pass through to Jake McIntyre. Lam trying to bust his way through. Ekoshar again. Nice movement by Oviedo. Ekoshar looking around for an option. In the end, I think it's going to wind up being the kick. It's a little short, is it? No, it's not bad, actually. Veradamu gets there, Merkler good hands, Malia. Back by uh, Arthur Retier the other way, but Jake McIntyre is waiting for it. Okay. Referee, though, has blown. He's going to bring it back for a uh, penalty to Perpignan. So it's a knock-on to start with and then offside. Accidental offside, so... Uh, it's not going to be anything more severe than just a uh, penalty. So there, Frank Azema has come down to the uh, touchline to be with David Marty, his head coach. That looked like a pretty good kick from uh, Tommy Allen. So there was the knock on by Tuza. And you can see the offside. Anybody in front of that cannot touch the ball, no matter how much you're tempted. Nicely taken. This is better from Perpignan. Backs joining in to try and push this driving mall. Still going. Perpignan on the rush. No more to lose players there. Where's the ball gone? The ball's actually back. Two parts of the mall. A little bit of substitution, misdirection. Well ripped away by Tomopo just as Perpignan were about to lose the ball. So back to normal phase play. Sobella. Big hit on him by Mechler. Ekoshar feeds it off into the path of Brasso. Ekoshar once more. Oviedo. Well brought down by Costes. Ekoshar sees the ball. In it comes again. Dungivalu. McIntyre picks and goes. Almost up to the try line here. Ekoshar, relentless pressure from Perpignan. Just a metre out. Ekoshar once more. Oviedo. Desperate defence this from Toulouse. Still holding on. Perpignan trying to find the weak spot. So far to lose, have got a nice solid black and red line across their try line. 
Perpignan lose a little bit of space. Ekashar, though, thinks he sees another way of doing this, and he does. McIntyre feeds off, and Luca Dubois touches down in the corner. Well, we said the pressure was relentless, and in the end, Toulouse relented. Dubois' first try since early September. McIntyre, lovely delayed pass. And then it was one on one, Dubois against Gorg, and the youngster couldn't keep the left wing out. And Perpignan are back in it again. So this to tie it. Tough on this for Tommaso Allen, at least it's with his right boot. Here it comes. He's hit that beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. And it is 17 points all with almost 10 minutes gone of the second period. Beautifully delayed there by McIntyre, drew the men towards him, created the space outside. And Dubois' second try of the season. Restores parity again at 17 each. So one Cruz Malia kicks off once more. Caught by Oviedo. Oviedo crunches into Costes. Ekashar is looking for the ball. There it is. Toulouse trying to uh, ruck their way through, but uh, strong work. Important to get the exit strategy right. On kickoffs when you've just scored, and Ekashar launches it long. Well caught by Mali, and he's immediately hit. Paul Graou. Makes like a mole and gets it out the back. Cramel. Raul again into uh, the tight head prop. Joel Meckler. Oh, Malia nearly dropped that, but manages to get the ball away on the second attempt. Jake McIntyre underneath it, just outside the 22. Decides to go out to uh, Veladamu. Veladamu cuts back inside and is brought down by Costes. Ekashar. Out to Lotrien. Ekashar once more. McIntyre nicely moving along the line here. Little bit of space opening up for Perpignan again. You can see the confidence that they have that you didn't have when you saw them earlier in the season. Playing like a side now that believes that they can win. Particularly against what is a very understrength to lose side this evening. Malia all the way back. Brilliant kick. Just that side. Didn't go into the in-goal area. It's not a bad kick out though by Malia. Who still think he's uh, suggesting that he was hit late. Well, this was the uh, the kick forward by McIntyre. Lovely kick, didn't go too far, stayed in ground, made Malia play it. And I'm not quite sure what happened there at the end. Well, not very much in that with the uh, hit by Tavita Veradamu, who will be hoping not to get another yellow card, otherwise he will be in real trouble. One will do him for the uh, game. Home crowd not too happy with uh, the Toulouse player. Stolen. One against the head there for Toulouse. And a real chance for Perpignan disappears. Grow. High. And out. And he was outside the uh, 22, so he will come back. Meanwhile, 
Georgi Tetrasvili, who's back on the pitch. Not too happy with a Toulouse adversary. Sounds like there's a couple of changes coming. On comes Luca Valert, the hooker, number eight. And a change at scrum half as well with Sadek Dumach coming on for Tom Ekosharp. In by Lamb, loose again. And again, Perpignan lose an important attacking line out. This time finding touch inside the 22 and moving Toulouse up towards the halfway line. Toulouse at home have only conceded eight tries in their last six games at home. They've already conceded two tonight, though, against Toulouse. And again, it goes against the head. You can hear the derision in the crowd. All these attacking opportunities being given away, and now they find themselves back inside their own half. Forward by Allen. Outside the 22, caught by Juan Cruz Malia. Still playing for Roman Intermat whilst he makes his way back from his terrible leg injury. Dubois. And he's made it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Rodrigue Nieti, the uh, loose head prop with the kick forward. couple of France caps for him back in 2020 but uh, hasn't really figured a lot knife by Brennan picked up by uh, Grau out by Malia Peter Aki twists and turns but can't get uh, away from Luca Valert Fasuele crashes into his former teammates and uh, recycles for Grau back the other way Malia Costes looked a little forward to Tuza. Tozan's allowed to continue, though, brought down by McIntyre. Inside by Costes. He's finally brought down by Venadama, who tries to get the ball but loses his footing. Fasuele. Picked up by Gorg. Comes into the line and Paul Grau catches up with play and finds Paul Costes. Costes just about managed to stop that going forward, did he? Or did he? Yeah, well, judging by that expletive, probably not. Growl looking for his namesake. Almost got away. Fasuele coming off and... Uh, they still remember him with fondness now, even though he's playing for the other side and all bloodied and battered. He gets a nice ovation as he comes off the field. Well, he did a lot to keep Perpignan in the top flight and get them up there in the first place. Now back at the side with which he won the 2019 Brennus. At Toulouse, former La Rochelle, former Cass. He's got quite a list of top clubs on his CV, has uh, Puerta Fasuele. Flexion. Well, they never really looked like they were going to go down for that, and a free kick given to Perpignan. McIntyre quickly. Nicely brought forward by Akato. Fakatika, the replacement tight head prop. Ex France under 20 international. Back in 2021. Not part of the uh, team that just won the world title. That's a. Oh, he got an unlucky bounce there. And it's going to 
He dropped to the back there and uh, tell you what, Tommaso Allen nearly managed to pounce on that before it went out. The referee saying no because uh, Toulouse are trying to say that that went behind the the uh, the touchline, but uh, the referee and his assistant think that that was touched down in the in goal area. So then here it comes. There we go. It's on the line. There. So out on the full. So back for a scrum on halfway instead of an in goal dropout. Now what are we doing? <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. Right, so he's saying now that the slow motion did for the show that the ball was touched down inside the in goal area. So we will head back for a, uh, a drop out instead of a scrum on the halfway. Yeah, disappointment a little bit there for Hugo Moller. Not to mention for uh, Jean Boulot as well, his forwards coach. Allen catches. And the attack is on from Perpignan. Verlaat hit and as a penalty. High tackle. Forward by Alain Brasso, the 31-year-old open side flanker. And the crowd very much in the game. Dubois not allowing Paul Graul to snatch the ball away from him. Good run this by the substitute uh, back row forward. Who can play hooker as well, which is an interesting one. There's the high tackle from Jack Willis. And after all that play, it is going to be now a kick at goal. With the home crowd at the M.E. Gérald absolutely loving it. <laughs> Toulouse president uh, not looking totally comfortable. Tommaso Allen again, straight down the middle. <laughs> well over 130 points now this season. In top Catals, his form definitely connected to the way that Perpignan have recovered through the last couple of months. That's gone out on the full. That will be a scrum on the halfway line. There is uh, Pozuolo Tuilagi. He was supposed to be on the bench today, but uh, I didn't hear why the 19-year-old superstar is not shirting up today. Sean Eru instead has taken his place as number 19 on the bench. <laughs> couple more forwards about to come on. So the front row won't change quite yet, but uh, soon to do so for Perpignan. Hour gone, Perpignan 20. To lose 17, and like the Six Nations games today, this one is a tight one. 
And again, that's the second scrum in a row that they can't get right. This time, though, the free kick goes the way of Toulouse. Taken quickly. Malia forward. That's gone underneath Dubois. I think he touched it as well, which will mean a uh, line out here to uh, Toulouse. <laughs> So then Guillaume Cramont collects the ball. Time back on again. Lotrian does indeed then come on again for Tetrashvili, which he did for a head injury assessment in the first half. And uh, Ignacio Ruiz comes on for Salela Lam at hooker. Toulouse slowly rumbling forward. In the end, the uh, driving ball fell apart because the man had the ball, burst out the front of it. Grau cutting back inside is Clement Verger, the 22-year-old replacement lock. Another fr ex France under 20 international in this lineup today. Jack Willis, no way through there, so uh, bundles it back out to Paul Graou. Retier plays scrum half, forward by Mali, a little kick over the top there. Runners are after it. Tozak can't collect it. And McIntyre touches it down. So close to being another try for Toulouse. Tozan just couldn't quite reel this hot potato back in again. <laughs> Lovely little kick by Malia. Couldn't have been any more perfect. Tommaso Allen just doing enough to put the wing off. More changes coming. There is Ruiz. Meckler's coming off, which means that Paul Mallet will be coming back on. Yet another ex France under 20 international in this Toulouse lineup today. Man who has been on uh, loan with Provence rugby in uh, Pro D2 for uh, part of this season. Called back into his mother club here now, though. This is his sixth appearance back from that loan in Aix-en-Provence, where Provence rugby play. Club that takes in Aix as well as Marseille as their catchment area. Demac then. The man who scored his only try of the season against Toulouse earlier in the campaign, even though they lost that in November. Successful feed in here, though, forward by Tomapu. Sadek Demac uh, traces the caterpillar back to its end. Finds the ball there, ready to kick. And finds touch, however. Able to be recycled quickly by Luca Tuza. Not too far. They needed to get it slightly deeper out of play. And all of a sudden, Toulouse on the front foot. Netty, followed by Cramel, still on the uh, number two for Toulouse. Tuza with the ball once more. That ball has been picked away, though. And the referee has allowed it. Turnover ball to the host, McIntyre. Feeds it along the line. Oh, little cut back inside. There by Dungavalu. And now he's lost the ball. Grau. Referee is blown. I think he's saying it was a forward pass. Oh, knocked on. David Marty not too happy with the... Uh, LNR representative. <laughs> well, there was the rip. 
to start with by Luca Vallard, who's had a real effect on the game since he came on about 10 minutes ago. This was perhaps the wrong idea in the end from Alavaretti Dungivalu. Scored a try last week at uh, Toulon. His first try for two and a half years in uh, top catalls. Or indeed for anywhere. So scrum with 15 minutes to go in the game. The game couldn't be more poised. Well, I suppose it could be. It could be all level, but uh, it's just about as tight as it gets here with Perpignan just in front. Big push by Toulouse, but the penalty has gone the other way. Paul Mallet is the man who's been penalised for going in sideways. And there he is. Decent kick into the 22. As Perpignan look to make the most here of their piece of fortune from the scrum. Salela Lam had a few problems with some of the uh, line outs. Let's see if Ignacio Ruiz, the Argentine international, can do it better. He has, he's found his man. However, good counter push here from uh, Toulouse. Picked up though by Demach. Forward by Ruiz. Plenty of support there for their teammate. That's nicely done by Tomapu. Out again, McIntyre, Dubois. Dubois looking to try and go past Toza, who uh, had a nasty hand high there for a second. And it's knocked on by Castro Ferreira. And the referee isn't going to allow Perpignan to play the advantage off that. Something's been said here, I think. Il y a trop de joueurs chez vous qui réclament quoi que ce soit, d'accord Donc je vous demande d'organiser de la maîtrise. Je veux bien croire qu'il y a de l'enjeu, qu'il y a de... Mais stop. Je vous dis que le capitaine de Perpignan de fermer son side et de ne pas les dire de dire comment le jouer le jeu. Il y a des gens So we will have that scrum. Nemo Rolofse is still on at the tight head prop position for Perpignan. I think that everybody else in those front rows is new. Guillaume Cramor, excuse me, is still on as well. The hooker for Toulouse. Tomapo, little dummy, and keeps the ball. Inside the yard, uh, the five-minute line, but it's been ripped away. Advantage here for Toulouse, and Retia gets the ball away somehow. It's a decent kick, but back it will come here from Dungivalu. Batty Germa has come on to replace Paul Grau, a scrum half. For Toulouse, he made that tackle there. Little ball over the top by McIntyre. Mali has got to go back and get it. Doesn't do badly considering where he was. Back it comes in, Tommaso Allen looking to race into the 22 once more. That's Jack Willis, who believed he should have been able to play that ball. Perpignan will have it again though. Heading towards the last 10 minutes, McIntyre. They were hoping to 
Gap would open up there, but Salou saw it coming and shut it quickly. McIntyre again through the middle. Tommaso Allen. Allen's got it. Allen to the line and he's over. Well, they kept on with the tactic. And the Italy international had read the script. And he collects his fifth try of the season. Five tries in his last four matches to continue his rich fame of scoring for Perpignan. And they create some distance now between them and the top 14 champions. McIntyre pin perfect with the kick this time. And Allen had the momentum to be all in front of him. Beautifully done. And Allen, not with the Italian national side who won earlier today, helping Perpignan try to win in the evening. Great work by the Australian fly half with the kick in the first place. And Allen will now attempt to convert his own try. Again, it's good. And with 10 minutes to go, Perpignan now lead by 28 points to 17, and it's a two-score game. Malia with the missed tackle. And then Batty Germa didn't have the strength to stop the Italian fullback. More changes for Toulouse. Clement Verger has just come on, the 22-year-old again. Malia kicks off. Twenty-seven points to seventeen, excuse me, but uh, still a two-point game or a two-score game. Cramor has gone off and been replaced by Hawks. Costes, McIntyre brings him down. And a penalty goes the way of the hosts. Well, Costes was there, got himself isolated, didn't let go of the ball. Great play by McIntyre, who immediately got into the jackal position. Out it comes again, and forward comes Dungivalu. Dumak. This time the kick doesn't work from McIntyre. He recovers his own ball, though. Into the last six and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Time beginning to run out for Toulouse. Back the other way. Oh, that's well done by uh, Toma Pope. The referee had blown in any case because of the knock on. And it'll be scrum to Toulouse. 
Mathieu Villiers just looking like he's struggling, and so too Paul Mallet. To lose only the uh, third best away team this season behind Stade Francais and Union Bordeaux Bègles. They had, though, won their last two away games. The only side in the division to have done that, apart from Stade Francais, who've won their last three away from home. That run, of course, ending today earlier against La Rochelle. So then, strong in the scrums at the moment, although, to be honest with you, the, uh, a lot of the scrums have been settled on free kicks. The Catalans are here. They certainly are. 2009 champions against the record champions. Paul Graul told to get on with it. And a big push by uh, Perpignan that is not rewarded by the referee. And Paul Grau comes away from it and goes on a thundering burst forward. Really good work from the scrum half and managed to hold it up as well in time for his support players to arrive. Grau back on his feet to Jack Willis. The open side flanker moved from number eight last week. And really... Leading by example again, Paul Costes trying to go past Tomapo, finds Toza. Toza, little slip, gets away, Toza. Into the 22, Batty Germa, feeds it out to Grau, who looks like he's moved into a sort of fly half position with uh, Batty Germa. Grau again, Josh Brennan. Toulouse suddenly looking up for it again. McIntyre couldn't get out of the way, but the referee was busy elsewhere, making sure the Perpignan player stayed on side. Hawks knocks it on. And Perpignan have it and come away. No way through for Dungivalu. Retia has it, but the referee's blown. Busy game, isn't it? With five minutes to go, it's a ten-point lead for Perpignan. That try by Tommaso Allen might just have sorted it out. Merkler has had to come back on again for Malay. And it means that Merkler will stay on for the rest of the game as that's an injury substitution. Malay nursing his ribs as he goes off. This was Paul Graul straightened up Jake McIntyre and that created a hole for him to run through and he managed to keep it alive long enough for his teammates to arrive in support Nemo Rolofse finally makes way for Akato Fakatika 23 year old ex-France international Coming on here for his eighth appearance of the season. Nagalevu also coming on as well. Fijian, who has uh, had a number of injury problems over the last few seasons. Fortunately, at the moment, no fit, even though he had four and a half months out with a ruptured tendon in his hand until mid January. And that was this season. Not to mention the other things he's had, like hamstrings, broken bones in his hand, broken arm in the last couple of seasons. Oh, that was slow, but it's brutally taken by Allen from Sadek Dumach. And he finds touch. Just over four minutes to go now, and Toulouse are running out of time. It's going to be another strong performance at home, this from Perpignan. 
admittedly against a very inexperienced to lose side with nine players under 23 years old today including that man there Josh Brennan 22 years old moving from number seven into the second row for this week's game to lose on the attack up to the 2020 up to the 22 Jack Willis though forced backwards counter rucking here from uh, and uh, a penalty that was foolish by Perpignan so they're playing with an advantage here are to lose a, a knock to nothing Growl feeds it out good little push still the penalty to Aki Bati Germa steps back inside brought down by Tormapo half brought down and then the job is finished by Marvin Ori. Oh, it's nicely done by the fly half and Malia. Movement forward is good from this move by uh, Toulouse. Grau. Willis offloads into the path of Leo Labart, who's come on. The 20 year old lock forward. It's only his second appearance in the first team. Has been dropped by Grau, and I think the referee will now. Finally, no, 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 so. well, one Cruz Malia asking whether that should be a yellow card. Referee saying nope. I think Malia's taken that from the wrong place. Oh, a little bit of acrobatics there. By Sean Aru, man who come in late into the uh, Union Sportive Alacua Perpignan 23 after Posolo Tuilagi, the superstar teenager, back from France duty in the Six Nations, didn't take up his place in the 23. Good for uh, Perpignan. And an attacking line out lost by Toulouse. That was what was afflicting Perpignan, particularly in the first half. Well, the win is assured now. Jack Willis trying to get involved in getting that ball away. Time is running out, though, for Toulouse. Their only hope now, maybe, to get a defensive bonus point. But they're not going to do it if they don't have the ball. It's hard to get on with it. Well, this was a big opportunity for Toulouse to go top of the table. But Frank Azema's men continue their fine home form that has seen them rise out of the bottom two at least once this season. And if things stay the way they are at the moment, well, they won't be out of trouble completely. But they will put themselves only three points behind Montpellier in the first place of safety. They'll uh, lengthen their distance from Oyenar again from direct relegation as Josh Brennan takes it up for Toulouse. Their top, their first try scorer in the evening. Feels like a little while ago now since they were beginning to take the ascendancy. But Perpignan have really dug in well. Merkler. Graou, Hawks. This time holds on to the ball. Graou. Batty Germa. Retier is hit hard, but uh, unfortunately, Alain Brazo for Perpignan can't hold him. Penalty, though, to Toulouse. Playing the ball on the ground. Here's Hawks. Hawks away. The replacement. Hooker nearly carving a hole all the way through the Perpignan defence. Out by Brennan. 
Peter Aki, long miss pass. Malia plucks it back in and finds Toza. Toza brought down by Nankavelu. Netty, Willis, Grau, Merkler missed out. Penalty still in favour of Toulouse. Batty Germa twisting one way and the next. Goes back the other way and the referee will blow now because there is no advantage to be seen there for Toulouse. Minute and a half nearly into time added on at the end of the match. And it looks like Calvin Gorg is going to come back on again. Batty Germat has had a few running repairs and he's back on his feet. Could be the last game, last play of the game. Hawks finds his man. Verge directing the driving mall. It's gone down. A Perpignan player has brought it down. It's an advantage again to Toulouse. Ball has been ripped away. And a yellow card is going to come out. Alain Brazo. The culprit, so he will spend the rest of the game in the bin. Well, Perpignan have already won the game. This is all about whether Toulouse can come back here and earn a defensive bonus point. In some sense, it doesn't really make an awful lot of difference to Perpignan. Toulouse are not involved in the same battle as them this season. But the likes of uh, Stade Francais will be very interested in this because a defensive bonus point would be enough to put Toulouse top of the table for the first time this season. On 55 points at the moment, same as Stade Francais, who lost earlier in the day against La Rochelle. And it's a penalty to Perpignan. Crossing by Toulouse. A little smile from Hugo Mola. High fives for Franck Azema. It's another home victory for Perpignan. Their home form continues to star in the division. And in the end, it's finished. Perpignan 27, to lose 17, to lose, miss out on going top of the table for the first time this campaign. Well, a cracking game. But in the end, Perpignan, yet again, proving that their home form is getting them out of trouble. Sixth straight win at home in top Cators. Not enough to take them out of the bottom two. That is because Montpellier are having such good form at the moment. Montpellier with four wins in a row. They're up to 37 points in 12th. But that four-point...